Hi, this is Robert Tay from Robert Tay Blog and Vitamin T. I have something here today I have not heard of before. It's called Destination Earth Star. I was browsing my local used video game store and came across this little guy sitting on the shelf. I took a quick look online and saw the first person shooter gameplay and thought of how there are so few games for the NES with this perspective. I went ahead and bought it. It's worth a couple bucks. I figured if nothing else it would just be part of my collection as I did not have the game already. Uh, I've now had this game for a couple of days and this is the first chance I've had to sit down and play it. I just repaired my NES earlier today, had to reline the pins, friend's daughter came over, messed it up a bit. Seems to work actually better than it did before so it kind of worked out for me. Now since there have not been too many games that I have not played myself or seen being played in front of me, I thought I'd take the unique opportunity to record the game as I play it for the first time. So here we go. Alright, we got a claim there. Destination Earth Star. This is the start of the game. What? There's no select screen, there's no title screen. It's just dump you right in the game, huh? Alright, well. Oh look, there, I can fire. There's fire. Left, right. What is that? It's a green sphere. Okay. Orbit achieved. An uninhabited planet. Very good. So I want to guess that the rest of those little circle rings are going to be planets as well. I see two ones and one two. Well, those are the torpedoes. Oh, hello. I do not know how I did that. How do I undo it? Okay. Okay, if you hold down B and press up, you can speed up up to the point you enter hyperspace. Hold down B, you press down, it slows you down. So let's go hyperspace. Slow down a bit. Looks like it's taking away energy whenever I do that. It's taking away energy whenever I move at all. Let's go to number two. Couple of dots on the screen now, the little uh, heads up display. Are those? I don't see anything. Alright. Uh, well, one of those games where down is up and up is down. Oh, look, there it is. Wait. Is that that red dot? Is that an Imperial shuttle? That looked like an Imperial shuttle from Star Wars. So there are three ones now, and one of them keeps moving. Okay, the red dot's an enemy. Or I should stay in Imperial Shuttle. Apparently shooting blobs of red at me. Alright. Hyperspace. So we've got hyperspace and imperial shuttles that shoot glowing red orbs, which I assume are torpedoes. Let 
next next thing we're gonna see is TIE Fighters. Hyperspace, going through hyperspace. Ludicrous speed! Now we're gonna go across the map here. Shoot him. It's kind of bullshit. Look at that. There he is. Alright. Take him out. Go sideways. There we go. Sector secure. Attack enemy base. Where's the enemy base? There's A and two B's on the screen. One could be attack. These could be bases, but let's go to A because it comes first. Oh look, it's a red Death Star. So wrap that up. We've got orbit achieved. Steve, please stand by. Oh look at that, refueled weapons. That's nifty. We have 200 torpedoes and a bunch of 134 ruby lasers. Almost 200 torpedoes! I just unload torpedoes on shit. You know, most games, laser, the laser, the weak weapon, is unlimited. But I suppose if you can refuel. Alright, it's one of those games where you can just go, instead of the map actually ending, it just moves you to the other side of the map when you I don't think this B was here before. Check it out. Alright. So, blue planet. Water world. No, no, bad, very bad. Could be Earth, but I don't see any uh, green. Underground base located. It's attack. This is kind of deep. Am I doing anything here? Oh, look at that! Okay, now it's a side scrolling shooter, like our type. Me. Oh look, a piece of Triforce. Oh, cool. Alright. Oh, I can shoot backwards too. Well, that's bullshit. I just love it when enemies are able to run through your fire without a problem. Look at that. Two or three times before I actually go. Oh god! I'm trying to tail behind me now. Oh god! What the fuck? Where are those guys coming from? Ah, oh, I missed the Triforce. There's a whole Triforce. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. I guess, uh, my health bar means nothing here. So apparently so does ammo, because it doesn't look like I'm running out of ammo. Maybe the Triforce is going to be Alright. Okay, this shit kind of looks like an X-Wing with foils down. I don't remember the X-Wing. Oh cool, I can shoot through the terrain. Make 
I hope that they really need to. Oh shit. There's no jellyfish. Guess I go for it. Alright. That kind of looks like a tie. It really does look like an X Wing, like with thicker wings. But it really looks like an X Wing with the foils down. Alright, there's a bunch more ones. I'm guessing it's a different sector. Warp here a couple times, or hyperdrive. Oh, these guys are running for me now. Running on the other side of the planet. Firing at me. Bastard. Ah! Take out the Emperor! Oh, that's such crap. How, how can he shoot towards me when he's off screen, but I can't shoot towards him? Weapons overheat apparently, your lasers will overheat. So well, that's one in this sector. abyss again. And I, I don't even see him. Like, he's somehow getting past me without me even seeing him. Such crap. Press the button and be at the next enemy or some shit. It's active going all over the place. Let's check out this bee over here. Let's see if they got uh, any more weapons or something. Where the hell's the damn planet? Oh, there it is. Alright. What happened? Did I miss it? I guess it came in too fast. I bounced off the atmosphere. Holy shit. Alright, so slow and steady wins the race. And one little notch. Alright, orbit achieved. Yay! Damage repair. Oh, this one repairs damage. And now I have more energy too, so I guess, I guess that's good. Here. Ha ha. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, what's going on? Alright, I'm not overheating. What's going on? Alright, there it goes. That was weird. I was able to fire for a second. Which made me take a hit. Which is kind of bullshit. Nothing was overheating. Just off the screen. I'm gonna go to warp just to get him. Or hyperdrive or hyperspace, whatever you want to call it. And I don't even see him! Bastard got by me somehow. Motherfucker. Uh 
Ah! Alright. Glimmer of hope. Oh, dude, full dot. Little dot. Shoot at the dot. Alright, go. Alright, let's go to this A over here. So, if the other one re regenerated health, then this one must do ammo. Oh, that's what the M that's what the A stands for. That's ammo. What the hell does the B stand for then? Take this guy out. Might as well take out these guys and get them just on ammo afterwards. Where is he? You know. Hey. Why can I not fire? Ah! I'm not overheating, what's going on? Am I out of ammo? What happened? Did the game just seriously glitch out on me? You know, I really hate when that shit happens. You're sitting... Okay. Well... Sound's gone. It's alright. At least I can still play it. I guess I'll just play it without the sound for a little while. I'm out of laser. I'm out of, I have an extra laser now, but I'm out of both of them. Well, music's kind of repetitive. It wasn't getting under my skin, but sitting here for Sitting here for an hour playing the game would probably drive me a little batty, but I know one of those guys is used to sitting there and the playing uh, battle and Pokemon and hearing that same battle music. Wait. The sound's working. At least the firing sound is. And so it's okay, so the hyperdrive sounds work. It's just the music. That was weird. Huh. Oh well. Just gonna launch a bunch of torpedoes. That's all I can do. There we go. Sector secure. Attack enemy base. I want to guess that's the highlighted one. I'll try to go to ammo again. Make a pit stop towards the ammo. I don't think it'll really matter, but hell, why not? Oh, it happened again! What the hell? So, I'm pressing, like, I'm jamming a button or something. It must be like B down or BA down or something. Because, uh, and that's kind of bullshit. Like, you go to slow down, you gotta hold down B and press down. If you hit A, your game freezes, and, oh, brought the music back. Okay, so, uh, maybe it's built in, maybe it's on purpose. Still weird. If you go out of the way, it's like, why not put a splash screen up? Why not have an option section? Oh, there's the planet. I was seeing it for a minute. What the hell? Achieve. Please stand by. Open supply replenished. I wonder if I can do this again. If I can go out and go back in. Nope, there's a the planet. Alright, let's try this again. Very slowly. Too fast. Skipped off the atmosphere. Slow down. Turn around. Do it again. Red planets. Ah, access denied. That sucks. I got four hits over here. I'm gonna go check out the other B, the non-highlighted B, so I can replenish on energy 
health. Bullshit. We go all over the screen just to get there. And I know I'm not I'm not going the you know through the other side through you know if I were to take a left here I'd pop out the other side. But still. Alright, green planet. Line it up. Oh, access denied on this one. Okay, you must only be able to use them each once in, uh, in a sector, I guess. So, so far, the game's alright. It's, you know, it's it's kind of worth... It's worth the two dollars. Um, you know, the music's on an endless loop, it seems. No change. Even between the levels. Um, I kind of like the idea between going from first person shooter to R type scrolling shooter. I hope it doesn't do it again. I hope this third time or the fourth level is different. I hope it's not just another R type shooter. If it's just like the two things over and over, it's going to be kind of upsetting. Ground base located, commence attack. It's gonna be the same shit. It's gonna be another sort. I, wonder, I hope it's a different level. It's not the same, the same exact level. No, I'm gonna go this way. Whoa! What the hell? What the hell's that? Why is it going towards me? What's going on? Shit, I've died twice and I'm not even past the first little mark. It's following me! Shit! And I died again. Game over? What? Holy shit, it's one of those games. You get one life, you get one recharge per level, I'm assuming. The exception of the R-type levels, the scrolling levels, that's such crap. Whew, had to turn that bullshit off. Alright, for two bucks, it's not bad. But the likely price back on release would have been 25 or 35 dollars. If I spent that kind of money on this game, I would have been pissed off. It's just two levels over and over, and if that weren't enough, you still have to deal with the rest of the game. Spaceships that look like Imperial shuttles from Star Wars, and the typical side trolling shooter. It's not even done well. Almost everything is the same color. Not to mention the ships that want to just keep flying up your ass every couple of seconds. Alright, if you need to get this game to finish your collection, luckily you can find this on eBay, cart only for cheap. I saw a few new in box for about 40 or 50 bucks. I don't suggest getting those. As for playing, I would suggest any of the golf games. You can get them for the same price and at least have an attainable goal. Uh, check out my other videos under the Vimeo channel GBit. I'm going to be posting more reviews over the next few days. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.